Okay, guys, this is Dr. Lior V. Barrell with the other segment. Uh, coming to you live, reviewing uh, the coolers. Uh, the Corsair H100 Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler versus the Zalman CPU Cooler CNPS 9900A LED. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you uh, before I unbox this baby right here, I'm going to tell you this cooler is freaking amazing. Okay, this cooler is incredible. I use it on my other system and I just removed it out. As you can see, it still has that, uh, <laughs> you know, that uh, coolant, whatever. But, uh, so anyways, this thing really cools your chip pretty well. Takes it down, you know, a uh, significant amount compared to the uh, stock cooler. But when it comes to these two, obviously, what do you think I'm going to tell you? The, you know, obviously, a liquid CPU cooler is the best way to go because it's the it cools out down your chip significantly much better than any cooler out there now I've used uh, you know water coolers that you have to maintain you know maintenance and stuff where you fill it up with all kinds of things from liquid nitrogen to liquid helium or uh, what is the other one uh, antifreeze I've heard people using on it I don't know there, there, there's different types of things I use uh, but the thing is you know you don't you know they cool much better than this but the thing is you have to you know the maintenance in it is just too much and it's just too much for me to put up with this is maintenance free what I like about this it has its own radiator it has its own thing and we're gonna go into this but this cools down your chip dramatically now I'm just gonna turn it around before I unbox it because there's something on the box I want to show you guys alright so it gives you a chart over here of all of the series they have and what cools and what doesn't this doesn't do it any justice I'm telling you right now cuz I've hit I've uh, did a hundred percent load on five gigahertz, and it still would not go to seventy or uh, sixty. Sorry, sixty or seventy uh, Celsius. It would actually hover around the fifty Celsius, forty-eight to fifty. So uh, depends, I guess, how you use it. I guess I don't know, but uh, this doesn't do it justice, guys. So don't listen to the box in this situation. Look at some hands-on on that with benchmarking and so on and so forth. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna unbox it, and uh, I'm gonna. Put them side by side. Bye. Okay, guys. So, what does this uh, beautiful thing come with? It comes with two fans. Uh, now, these fans, I'm going to tell you, they're pretty solid. They're really good and good, you know, stock fans. Uh, I would recommend if you could get the, whatever they call them, uh, Nova and some crap, whatever, push and pull fan. Get those. They're about $30 each. I'm not going to use it because, I mean, I... I'm happy with these uh, fans, plus I have other fans that I, I use already, the ones that are included in the case, which I think pull amazing. I think they're probably the same brand I just told you to buy. Another thing is it includes uh, all kinds of screws here for your fans and what whatever. Uh, and also, sorry, mounting uh, for the Intel or AMD. Uh, now, here is what I like about this thing. It has its own radiator, which is pretty cool. You just mount the fans here, and you can mount the fans on the other side as well. So you get a nice little suction out, or you can just pull. And the fact that this thing spins with it, as you can see, this thing just turns with it. That, you know, you can pretty much position it anywhere you want. Now, you don't need any thermal paste because, as you can see, they already have it uh, ready to go on a block. You know, so, you know, of course, if you want to, after you use it, if you want to put it in another system, you will need it. But, you know, for now, this is pretty freaking awesome. So, you know, just like most of them have already. And it has also you know a system where you push and basically when you reach uh, that's maximum I th oh sorry this is maximum this is my you know the minimum I've had I've put this on minimum before it actually does a pretty good job if you don't want it to be noisy I don't know why everybody reports it as being noisy maybe because they use it as uh, exhaust where I use it as uh, intake so I put this as intake fans and my other ones as exhaust. So maybe that's the reason why people are saying it's loud. To me, noise doesn't bother me much. I could care less when I'm in the room, you know, I'm doing my stuff. I'm doing my, uh, you know, on my studio, I'm doing recordings uh, for my music and songs, which again, that's why I use the Claro. That's also the Claro 2 is really, really good in hand handling sounds on that, which I forgot to mention. But um, I use it, uh, the sound never is, you know, as bad as people claim it is. Maybe because I just put it as intake and not exhaust. I don't know, that's for you guys to find out. But, uh, you know, because I use them as, in, you know, intake fans. So, it's up to you, but I, that's what I would recommend doing. Now, the thing that I like about it is you don't have to replace any liquid, any nothing. This thing is 100% maintenance-free. Maintenance uh, I have... Uh, overclocked my CPU to 5 gigahertz on this thing 
Okay, on each core, on that FX chip I was talking to you about. Now, I haven't used it on my um, on my Phenom yet and all that stuff on my Phenom 6. I have used it on the i7. I've done overclocking on it. But like I said, it's it's much hotter either way than the AMD. But the AMD, I've clocked in about uh, 5 gigahertz on 48 Celsius. About 48 to 50 Celsius. Uh, depends on the load, of course. Uh, so like on a full load, I would say it's probably like 52 Celsius, 53. Uh, on uh, idle, probably uh, anywhere from like uh, uh, 44, uh, something like that, Celsius. And then I would say if you do like everyday use, that's where it is from 48 to 50 Celsius on average. So, uh, of course, that's on the highest setting. Now, if you use it on the lowest setting, I have managed to get up to, uh, what is it, uh, which this is the thing that shocked me the most. I have uh, On a full load, I've gotten to about, uh, what was it, 56 Celsius, which is not that bad for, uh, you know, being at the lowest, lowest setting. Notice it's not even medium. So at the lowest settings now, uh, on a full load, yeah, I would say about, uh, I think it went to about 5860 maybe, something like that. Uh, you know, on the, uh, the not 56, sorry. Uh, on a full load, it's 5860. On uh, everyday use, it's, uh, uh, what is it, uh, 50, uh, 54, 56, something like that. Uh, on it so I mean you know g give it a try see what you can do with it but that's pretty good now in a regular water cooler obviously depends what you put in you'll be able to you know get it down if you use liquid nitrogen 100 degrees Celsius below zero so you, yeah I mean you you be the judge of that so you could really control it and this thing you can't really control this is what you do but uh, it does a fantastic job I mean guys overclocking it to 5 gigahertz I mean I run it now at 4.2 just for the kicks because I don't I don't see the need for 5 but I clocked it at about 5, and it was stable as hell. I'm willing to bet I could have went to 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, and not have that much of a problem, and get it about the same heat as the Intel chips are. So, you know, I mean, it's up to you guys, but this is definitely a good investment. It was like $109. It's not that expensive. That's how much it cost. I mean, it's a really good, good buy. Uh, and definitely I would use it over the Zalman. But uh, like I said, if you don't have the money for it, I mean, this is 60 bucks, 70 bucks. It's a great, great CPU cooler. So, I mean, I would still use this. I use it on my other ones. Um, but, you know, if you want to invest a little bit more and get yourself something good, you know, get yourself something like this. It's really, really good. Uh, this this one really operates very well. This is the block. I mean, it's just incredible uh, compared to this. I mean, even though this is, you know, the best. So I would say use this for your systems that you do, you know, everyday work in. Use these for your gaming PCs or movies or anything you do, special effects. Uh, you know, I do a lot of uh, special effects and so on and so forth or 3D programs. I would use something like this, especially with the rendering, uh, which is just fantastic. All right, so uh, I guess uh, the next time I see you is in the recoup of, uh, actually, to show you how everything is together. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll get back to you and then give you a recoup about it, show you how everything is once I put it in this beautiful case and how it operates. All right, see you guys then. Bye.